All right, let's take a look at question 42. It says, using the equation of the line of best fit, which number is the best prediction of the output when the input is 13? So when X is 13, the input, what are you going to get out as Y? Well, just looking at these numbers they give me, they tell me when they put in 11, they get 151, pretty high. When they put in 9, they have 143. So as the number's going up, the Y value is going up. So if it's 13, I know it's probably more than 151, which tells me A is definitely gone. So we have to figure out, is it 159 or 170 or 178? So we need a line of best fit. In order to do a line of best fit, we have to go plot these points. We have to go to Desmos and we're gonna have to plot them. So we go to Desmos. Now, to make a table, we hit the plus button, we hit table, and then we enter our X and Y values. Now, I already did that to save us time, and here's what I have. Here are all the values. And here's our screen. Now, I might need to pull in my screen a little bit, okay, so that we can see we're trying to make a line of best fit and then say, oh, well, where is it when we're at 13? Well, to do that, after we've made our table, we hit this spot two, and we need to say, this is obviously a linear, linear line, okay? It's not a quadratic, it's not a parabola, it's a straight line like we're used to. So we're gonna hit Y and we hit sub one. We need to do that to tell it to look at our numbers. You'll notice up here it has Y sub one up there. That's why we're doing this. Now, we don't put equals, we put a little tilde. So shift and a little tilde, which means approximately. Now we want it MX plus B. So M for slope, X sub one, because we're dealing with our chart numbers there, plus the B value. And it now draws this line for us. And it tells us this line's equation, okay? This line's equation is pretty much the slope is about 9.7, 9.8, and the y-intercept's about 42.3. So we want we could use that and then use that equation and plug in 13. We could do 9.78517, times the X value of 13 plus the 42.9 and see what it says Y is. For this, the other thing we can do is we could just draw a line right at 13 or we could trace this line if we wanted. Here's the line, we could just trace it to 13, which 13 tells me, oh, 170 is my answer. That's probably the easiest way. Just put your cursor on there and go to that. The other way you could do it is you could draw a line X because you're trying to figure where 13 is. I'm might draw a line right at X is 13 and find that intersection point of where they happen to be. I'd have to zoom in a little bit and it, eh, the board's giving me a little bit of trouble. Got to use two fingers here. And I could find it that way, but it's just as easy to go ahead and just put your finger and find it right there at that 13, 170. So back on the problem, 170 choice C is our obvious answer.